Okay, this was my first attempt, so I now know of some things I did wrong. Um, this is a 30 gallon rectangular, no 20 gallon, 20 gallon rectangular fish tank. Um, and what I wanted to do with this fish tank was to create a crab habitat for my fiddler crabs where they could um, be on the land and also go into the water. So what I first set out to do was to figure out how to get a divider. And what I did was I went to Hobby Lobby and grabbed a sheet of plexiglass. I guess that's what that is. Um, and then I bought some shells at Hobby Lobby and then I used a hot glue gun to glue them to this plastic plexiglass. Um, I researched a couple of sites that said the hot glue gun should be fine. Um, so hopefully it'll be non-toxic because I went off of quite a few sites. Some said, said just to be safer to use epoxy but it's just a, a lot harder because it takes forever to dry and you'd be basically doing one row at a time and so I decided to try the, the hot glue. Now the thing that I did wrong was when I went to go get the aquarium epoxy they at my local fish store they only had one left and I did not realize that they came in two different colors so I mistakenly bought black so that's number one I didn't realize it until I'd already punctured the tube so I couldn't take it back so I just decided to go ahead and use it and I knew it was gonna look funny but oh well uh, you know it's my first one so I'm sure I'll do better the second go round but um, if this works then I'm gonna probably later on get more and maybe go to a 30 gallon but then what I did was just went to um, the hardware store and bought play sand because it's a lot cheaper than getting the aquarium sand and I am going to try this out with it staying dry and I don't know if they're gonna like that or if they're gonna want it wet so we'll see um, now on the other side of the plexiglass is not I did not put shells um, what I first intended was to fill the sand all the way up to the top so they can, you know, climb up the shells and climb down the shells. But I realized I didn't really want sand over on this side, even if it may happen. But So what I think I'm going to do is build a little ramp right here with the same plexiglass and shells and see how that works out um, to see if, see if that'll work. If not, then I'll probably fill more sand up or put some water in sand if they want water. And then on this side is going to be the water, of course, and I bought a reptile filter for, for, um, for that, which they're also currently using in this smaller 10-gallon. So that's what's going to be in the 20-gallon as soon as I get everything done. And this is their current habitat where I've got, got them set up, a little tunnel. There's the female. And they sometimes go in this tunnel. This is actually a vacuum from an old vacuum for the um, aquarium and I just buried it under the gravel and they go in there and I get to still see them so they like that and they, they have a little bit of land here and a little bridge with the wood that I bought but it's just kind of cramped and I wanted to add more and I have a male and a female in this one I don't know what male he's over there there he is so so that's where I'm at I will hopefully put a, an update video as soon as I've got them in their new habitat. But by the way, this took, um, the epoxy takes 24 to 72 hours. So 24 hours to dry, I think, and 72 to cure. So that's, it is a longer process. You know, you don't want to just think about doing this in one day. So, um, and I think the 48 hours, maybe it's 24 or 48 for the dry glue to cure. So I'm hoping this holds up. I just poured the sand in here and it seems to be holding up so we'll see how it, how it reacts with water in here it's probably going to bow a little bit but um, oh the biggest mistake that I did wrong was I didn't leave enough room like on this one I did I left a little bit of room on the side but I did not leave enough room on the bottom and that's why it's so messy down here I was trying to get that epoxy in there so if I were to do this again I would go ahead and create this first but then leave enough room on the bottom 
so that I can glue it down. And then I realized that the bottom on this side is going to have gravel, so you're not even going to see these anyway. So next time I do this, I'm going to leave a space of about an inch down here and about an um, inch on the sides because I can always come back and add shells with the hot glue gun if that works out, um, you know, before I put the water in if I want to. So the biggest part is getting, making sure that this is secure and hopefully the water won't leak through. So I ended up putting the epoxy, you know, on both sides and on the bottom, both sides too. So I'm making this video so that other people don't make the same mistakes as I did.